Decision Plus has been and still is a leading stock market service provider. From training to coaching, we cover it all. Try both our software as well as our coaching site completely free for 10 days without obligation. No credit card is needed to sign up for the trial. The trial subscription will be automatically canceled for you at the end. DecisionPlus.com, your stock market service center. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Market Vision Plus is the trading companion of so many investors. Make your fundamental and technical analysis easy with Canada's number one stock market decision making software. Research, decide, and follow your positions with Market Vision Plus. See the menus just above this program and try Market Vision Plus for 10 days without any obligation after the show. When it comes to day trading, Trader Plus is the right tool. Track 50 quotes simultaneously. Create dozens of quick lists. Display as many as 30 real-time intraday charts at the same time. Watch the action with candlesticks or bar charts as fast as 10 seconds. See the market by sectors. Use the chart models already prepared for you. Try Trader Plus for 10 days in the menu above without any obligation. Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the Swing Trading Show, Wednesday, May 18, 2016. We have uh, witnessed a market rescue this morning because uh, right at first, uh, prior to the market opening, every market were going down as uh, they uh, were in the other parts of the world. So the U.S. dollar is not moving much as any of the currencies, a little bit, uh, you know, but not not. Um, uh, yet uh, 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 any very big movement and uh, the Nikkei market is totally neutral the China market went back down toward its support within its neutral movement as well and also on the, Lo uh, the London market but this morning prior to market opening uh, the, the, the Nasdaq market was going down slightly very tightly sitting on its support and uh, it was so close to a, a new market breakdown on the Nasdaq and the Dow Jones also that was really 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 at, uh, at the crossing line of the uh, new bearish cycle and uh, the market bounced back but didn't go very far and uh, look at the SPY we still have a little increase on it but not that much and uh, the uh, SPTT is uh, really uh, neutral right now. And look at uh, what the market has done. So uh, all market were down uh, at, uh, at first, prior to the market opening and at the opening also. And finally, that was, uh, that's what I call the market rescue because then the market surged on the upside, on NASDAQ, on New York, on the SPY, and on the TSX. And then after a while, it started topping again. So we had a double top here, a double uh, on the NASDAQ, double top on the Dow Jones, double top on, on the um, uh, SPY, and also the TSX. And then it came back to the support again. So we are uh, going sideways at the moment, but with the, uh, 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 will this hold? You know, I, I'm still uh, having some concern about the strength on the market right now. And uh, there are uh, pretty good chances that the market comes back to where it was this morning. There is no real big news on the market internationally wise. 
and uh, so the market is right now trying to find itself a direction and it seems like the institution has saved the market and the big movement that happened on the uh, uh, financial service because look if you look at the situation right now uh, even though uh, the uh, crude oil is uh, uh, slightly up it was down twice this morning and it's now up and the gas is is down on a new low today but if you look at the uh, um, all of the resources uh, there except the crude oil that shows a little increase the uh, uh, silver is coming down towards this morning support and the gold is doing the same thing and uh, and actually the uh, the oil stocks are still going down near the low of the day uh, right now despite a little increase on USO and the materials are heading down at the moment and uh, the mining also uh, seems are they are going to come back to this morning low and as well as the as well as the uh, as the gold stock which are uh, pushing downward right now so um, uh, th that's the only um, uh, thing i can say it, it really really looked like a market saved because look at the consumer discretionary it went up very rapidly and ever since it's coming down and uh, the and the industrial did the same thing and right now it's testing the support so uh, uh, I think there are pretty good chance that we uh, that we come back down. Okay, the, the, uh, the, we we see that they have saved the market and they could save it again. But uh, it's just like uh, there is something like it just it, it looks like something is gonna happen somewhere. So they always find another sector to bring the situation back. Like right now, it's on the it's on the telecom. So n not any um, uh, really uh, bullish momentum anywhere, even though uh, the financial looks the best. Uh, once they have uh, reached the, uh, res the short term resistance here, the sector started to come back down. But it's a pretty tough uh, resistance to pass. It can happen. That would be a nice movement. But so far, I think it's just market rescue. So it should take a little bit of time again until uh, we see uh, wh exactly what's going to happen. But since, uh, was, as I said, the market has been rescued, uh, it's going sideways. And uh, we are on a, not a, a new bottom again, but it looks like it doesn't want to come back up. So uh, sooner or later, I think there are big chances so we come back down. We were ready this morning to trade the market on the downside using bearish ETFs, but the acceleration on the, night, the, on the downside never came. Uh, instead, we had this big, big bounce back and, uh, and, and it looks even more like a market rescue when you see the sector that have been bought, which is uh, the technology, not too risky sector, and the financials and uh, a little bit of consumer discretionary and uh, industrial but they came down since so it seems like the market doesn't even know where to go no one knows where to go and uh, it's not a very volatile market be look it's a tw half a percent on nasdaq but only uh, 23 point on the dow jones and it's minus two on the tsx I think it's the, the next few hours are going to be important. It, to me, it looks like uh, something is going to come up there. But uh, uh, other than a rescue, I don't know, I don't know what it is because there, there is no information at all on the market. Uh, we have a, I have a first question here, uh, which is, uh, <laughs> that's not a question, it's a word, it, it's three letter, it's spy. So GK is, uh, is asking about the spy, and, and, and that's what I, I've just explained. On every market, we were close to break down this morning on the NASDAQ, on the Dow Jones, and also on the spy. So right now, I don't think it, it, it is positive. It's, a, it, it's too close to, to uh, the, uh, the beginning of a new bearish cycle. The, the situation can change, but as long as we stay close to this support here, we have a chance for a breakdown. Okay, the, the, uh, the, uh, all the oscillators are oversold. It means 
it should be uh, a, a, a b be followed by uh, some 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 bullish momentum, but it does not happen. So it happened many times when the market comes down to a, a bottom like that, that it continues down, and even though it's o it's oversold, and uh, so the uh, oh, the oversold situation is not a guarantee that the market is going to uh, to go up. So right now, I think we got. Um, we have good reason to worry a little bit about the situation, but uh, as long as the, uh, the, uh, the institution will keep saving the market, so the market is not going to break down. What do I think, uh, Tony is asking, uh, what do, do I think about uh, GoPro? Uh, I haven't looked at it for a little while. Um, that's uh, GPRO. It's not really looking good, no. So, look, they, they, they were, there has been a, a, a downward movement on, on higher volume here, and right now there's no bouncing back at all. So uh, it, it, we, ha we have good reason to be worried there because no one seems to be uh, profiting of the occasion. So uh, a, a buy signal a, at, at a new bullish cycle will, will happen like at 960, 955, but uh, uh, at the moment it's not the case. So it, it, it's a negative triangle formation, so the seller goes down to the same point every time, and, 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 and on, on the pullback, the buyers uh, are, going, uh, are not going as far uh, each time, so it, it really looks like uh, the, the uh, GoPro is, is ready for a new low so far. Since there hasn't been any rebound here, I think uh, we have to be worried about seeing GoPro going even, even further down. Why PWT, Sam is asking, why PWT is so low, why USO is going up? But all of the stocks are going up this morning. Uh, that's what I, I showed you. Uh, the uh, USO is right now positive. We'll be back. Find answers to your questions by emailing your host at btm at decisionplus.com. Five good reasons to manage your investments with National Bank Direct Brokerage. Commission fees fixed at $9.95 anytime for all clients and starting at only $6.95 for active investors. No administrative fees if you hold at least $20,000 in your accounts. Registered accounts available in U.S. currency. Powerful tools to help you manage your portfolio. Award-winning customer service and satisfaction levels amongst the highest in the industry. To learn more, visit nbdb.ca or call us now. Real-time coaching has been created. We search and classify critical reports and technical movements. You can visualize or hear the best buying and selling opportunity. Get real-time advice all day long and three live coaching shows per day. Let us do the work and save your time for trading. Try MarketGurus.tv free without obligation for 10 days in the menus above. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I was what I was saying. Look, the, the uh, USO is going up, and if you look at the uh, uh, the daily chart, yes, USO is going up. Seems to be uh, close to the end of its bullish cycle. But um, if we put uh, PWT here, uh, PWT there, just beside it. So let's put USO ENG. Okay, so that's TTEN, which is now going down, almost uh, reversing its uh, uh, uptrend. So uh, we're very close to it. Uh, and uh, even though the uh, um, uh, USO keeps going up, so right now the uh, the oil stock are near the, the, like this. So. Uh, but we have to say that the, the, the gas is, uh, is very weak right now, heading down. So if you look at uh, Penn West, 
uh, it looks like uh, the confidence is just not there and uh, it's actually one of the weakest stock but uh, every time uh, Penn West has reached uh, since September the the price of uh, uh, around uh, 65 cents the stock has bounced back but if you look at the uh, volume here there was a big uh, 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 selling volume uh, two days ago so it's not really looking good so but with this very big support on approach there I think it, it's a hold I would not buy it uh, 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 but if you have a position uh, to to clear it out uh, I think uh, if you if you endure it uh, until then you may as well keep it uh, uh, for a while because the support seems to be strong enough uh, so the stock could rebound on it and that's all I can say but it's definitely weaker than the sector is um, uh, NA is a buy now oh, that's the same thing with all banks um, uh, right now I, I'm not really sure about the bank movement we're coming up towards the uh, this same level again but we're just missing a little bit and that's the the same situation for all banks td banks uh, remains the strongest you know hitting the roof once again and uh, and uh, the uh, the ceiling i'd say and uh, national bank is look look like it's going to break out like every other banks are showing the same thing even some life are showing the same thing but it's a little bit too tight so far you know it's we see the same movement on most of the bank even the royal bank is a little bit stronger so uh, it looks like it's going it could be a, a nice bullish cycle but I, I, my concerns are about uh, the uh, the what i said earlier the market save so it seems like the institution went in the bank to help uh, the market showing not too bad uh, to me that's what it looks like because i i don't see uh, we don't see any reason why the bank should um, uh, surge uh, that much and uh, as if you look at the uh, 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 resources again it's still having some pressure on the downside on the gold the mining and the materials and uh, the, the uh, um, uh, energy so uh, I think it's helping the market so the institution has bought some banks and uh, and that's all so uh, I, I don't think this movement is con is really convincing in the eventuality that this, that the movement would be a little bit stronger I'd say yes but you know uh, I'm not I am not really convinced that this is this is a movement we should buy right now um, and I have another question here um, what do I do what do I think of uh, e IBIO let's see it here Uh, I, I Bio Pharma, it, it has a nice movement recently here and uh, it doesn't seem like it was a balloon because uh, it's not coming back but uh, and the, there was a volume on the movement at the time but now the volume remains very low but the stock stays where it is I'd say um, uh, on the uh, on, on the next movement uh, it could uh, deserve uh, a little bit of um, uh, 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 buying a little bit of stuff there and let's see uh, the other one here ER I have analyzed it this morning I think it's a hold on East Main because the stock overperforms its sector and the volume is still great so I think it's just a hold there and not a buy because it's far from its uh, uh, the, the beginning of the cycle was 50 is now at 60 so wait for the beginning of the next bullish uh, cycle and uh, and that's all. Uh, that's all uh, we the time we had today. So we thank you very much for attending.